Hello everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Let's do a devotional together. If you haven't already gotten the devotional sheet this past Sunday, if you weren't in person, I'm gonna send it to your parents so you can either print it or you can follow along on your computer. All right, go ahead and grab your Bibles. We're gonna be in the book of James, chapter one, verse 19. Just one verse so you can follow along. If you have an adventure Bible, it's gonna be around page 1,353. Fun fact about your adventure Bible, if you look at the beginning of each chapter, there's like a little list of questions like this that say things like, who wrote this book? Why was this book written? For whom was this book written? And when was this book written? And then there's a the last part that says, what are some important teachings in this book? It's a great place to learn about the book of the Bible that you're reading. So for example, we're in the book of James. So you might be able to guess, but the person who wrote this book was, it says, James, the brother of Jesus, wrote this book. And then why was this book written? And then James shows Christians how to practice their faith in Jesus. Verse 19 says, My dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. So this is a great verse when we're talking about self-control. Do you remember what we've been defining self-control as? Take a second to think. All right, I'm gonna help you out. Self-control is choosing to do what you should even when you don't want to. This verse talks about a lot of things in our life that are actually hard to control. Uh, maybe your words. It's really easy to say what you want to say quickly without thinking about how it's affecting those around you. And sometimes your words are affected by your emotions. So we talked about this past Sunday. Sometimes when we lack self-control, we might get upset or angry at something that's happened. And if you are not being slow to speak, you might actually say something that could hurt someone that you actually care about. So one activity that this devotional does have is it says here, it says, can you do each of the following tasks in 30 seconds? Set a timer and challenge yourself. So some of the options were tie both shoes, fold five shirts neatly, stack 10 cups in a pyramid, write your first and last name five times legibly, and then say the alphabet backwards. So pick one of those, pause the video, and then go ahead and try it. I'm gonna try to write my first and last name five times. So you guys can watch me do that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to complete this challenge. Let's see if you can see what I'm writing. Okay. So let's see, setting the timer, ready, set, and let's see if I could do it in 30 seconds. Was it first and last name? Okay, ready, set, go. Are you guys counting? Yep, my last name is Jung. <laughs> oh, I'm slowing down because I can't spell my first name. This is pretty easy. I've been writing my name for 30 something years. <laughs> All right, I think I did it in 30 seconds. Why don't you guys give it a try? And this is what our devotional says about the activity we did. It says, how did you do? According to today's verse, we need to do one important thing quickly. Listen. But wait, there's more. To truly practice self-control, we need to be slow to speak and slow to anger. If you have beads and string or a pipe cleaner, you can do the activity it has at the bottom. Or if you have like a rubber band that's not too tight but thick enough for you to write on, you can actually make a fun bracelet that reminds us of this verse. So I actually had some pipe cleaner that looks like this, a red one, that you can just kind of put beads on and twist. And then I had beads that had letters on it. So if you have that, you could do it too. If not, you could even use a strip of paper and just glue the ends so that you can maybe for a day or so, just remind yourself of QSS, right? So Q is quick to listen, right? S is slow to speak. And the other S is slow to anger, right? So we talk about these verses a lot about things that we need to be slow to do and quick to do, but I want to give you practical ways 
um, to help yourself to be slow to speak and slow to anger. So a bracelet like this is helpful because maybe when you are feeling like you're going to get upset or you're gonna lose self-control, force yourself to pause. You can take three big breaths and look at your bracelet and think of what the Bible has to say. So that's why it's so important for us to be in scripture every day because we can be reminded in those moments of how we can have self-control. Now, we know that everyone is not perfect and there's moments where we are quick to anger and we are quick to speak and slow to listen, right? When that happens, that doesn't mean that, oh, you know, we fail doing what the scripture says, but it is a practice that we can put into our lives. Maybe you've been quick to anger. Maybe you are angry right now. Take a second, slow down, and think about this scripture, right? There's some things you can do to help yourself. Sometimes with my daughter, what I do with her when she gets really frustrated, she's only three, but I help her find the words to think about, about how she's feeling before she speaks things based on her emotion. So instead of saying, you know, I don't like my brother, or I don't like this and that, I tell her to say what she's feeling. I feel frustrated, I feel upset, I feel angry. And you can do that with yourself too. Tell, you can reflect and you can actually do it as a prayer. God, I feel really upset right now. I feel really angry and I don't know what to do. Please help me. Some things you can do also are like breathing exercises, right? I kind of do this with my daughter as well. You can breathe in, breathe out to slow yourself down, right? There's ways to help you slow down as well when you are feeling angry because it's not always easy to slow down when you're feeling upset or when you're starting to feel upset. I hope that was helpful for everyone to hear um, this verse in the Bible that God wants us to be what quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger. And I hope it also helped have ways that can help us slow down. All right, everyone, have a great week, and I'll see you this Sunday. And don't forget to do the rest of the devotionals this week and enjoy your time in the Word, learning about God, and learning about how we can live a life that's pleasing to Him. And remember, He is always there to help. Bye-bye.